Time for more on the weather now. And Amelia's enjoying a bit of sunshine trackside this evening with Victoria Park no doubt a hive of activity today, Amelia. Oh, Jane, it has been all systems go behind the scenes here by the track as everyone gets everything ready for the first day of the 500 here on Thursday. For now, though, nice and quiet here, and I dare say it'll be the quietest uh, it'll be here over the next couple of days tonight too. Uh, now, we do have clear skies here tonight, but it didn't start that way. Plenty of cloud cover this morning. Our top in the city was 20.5 degrees, and we hit that at around 5 o'clock. Right now, it's sitting around the 17-degree mark. Now, on the whole, top temperature temperatures were generally below average statewide again today as cool onshore winds continued, pushing cloud across as well. Udnadatta was the warmest with a top of 30.6 degrees. But even warmer weather's on the way as a high pressure system to the south of us kicks into gear. As it heads east this week, we can expect winds to swing to a warmer northerly over the next few days. Meanwhile, a trough over northern Australia will continue to trigger areas of showers and storms across northern Queensland and the top end tomorrow. Staying hot in the west, though, up to 35 degrees in Perth. Back home and a sunny day's in store across our far north, up to 33 in Murray and Moomba. 31's the top for Cooper Pedy and Roxby Downs. 28 for Port Augusta, a grade 20 for Port Lincoln, up to 24 degrees in Wyala tomorrow. 23 is the top for Clare, Nuriutpa and Murray Bridge. 27 for Renmark, a grey 19 for Victor Harbour and Mount Gambier, with just a slight chance of a light shower about the lower southeast. And strong winds are forecast in Spencer Gulf tomorrow as well. In the city, down to 11 degrees overnight. There could be some early fog patches about the hills in the morning. Otherwise, a mostly sunny days in store across the suburbs. 24 the top for the final day of spring. On Metro Waters, south easterly winds below 10 knots, tending south westerly in the afternoon, reaching up to 20 knots north of Brighton in the evening, with seas up to 1.5 metres. Taking a look ahead and sunny and up to 26 on Thursday. 28 the top Friday, reaching 33 Saturday. Then Sunday's change is looking a little later than first thought, so more time to warm to a top of 32 degrees before cooler conditions gradually settle in. Now before I go, let's take a look at tonight's ray of sunshine. Are you stuck for stocking filler ideas and keen to help out a charity this festive season? Well, Games for Good has got you covered. They've partnered with Terry White Kemmart selling a brand new family game called herding cats, with funds raised going to women impacted by ovarian cancer. It's great we're supporting ovarian cancer. They have some very specific programs that really help people through the ovarian cancer journey and the proceeds will go towards those programs. Herding cats will be sold in Terry White Chem Marts all around the country. Oh, so ticking two boxes at this time of year, Jane, I believe that's called two birds with one stone. Indeed, and a lot easier than herding cats, literally. <laughs> Thanks very much, Amelia. Well, that's all the news for now. I'll have updates through the evening for you, but in the meantime, from all of us here at the Seven News team, for now, good night.